Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic decimals and for this lesson we'll be looking at multiplication of decimals. So we'll start by uh, looking at what it means to when it comes to multiplication of decimals. We'll, we'll see some of the rules used in, in multiplication of decimals and then we'll go through some sample questions involving multiplication of decimals. And then at the end of the lesson we'll be able to give you some assignment at the end of the lesson to help you practice and also to help you get your understanding of the concepts as discussed all through this session. So uh, we have some of these rules uh, when you are multiplying decimals you have to apply them. So the first one is that the when multiplying the decimals you start by disregarding the decimal point. So you assume it doesn't exist. So we have an example of let's say you have something like uh like 0 0.24 multiplied by 0 0.2 so you'll assume the decimal points doesn't exist so when you remove the decimal point for example this one you remove that see the number now is 0 0.24 and 0 0.2 so usually when zeros appear before numbers like the zeros before numbers they don't really count that much especially if you just write 0 0.24 you know this zero is not really unless there's a decimal point so ideally this is just 24 by 2. So that's what you'll be doing. You disregard the, the, the decimal point and then you just multiply the numbers as they are. So like this is just going to be 48, for example, you see. So that's what you do. Number one, you disregard the decimal point and then you just multiply the numbers. So that's, that is the first thing to be done, the first step. You know. Then after that, you will add the the decimal places in the numbers to be multiplied. For example, we have 0 0.24 multiplied by 0 0.2. So decimal places means the number of digits after the decimal point. Like in this case, number of decimal places here, there are two. So we just write two dps and then you add. Here we have one, so one dp, totaling to three dps. This means that the product is going to have three decimal places, you know. The product here is going to have three decimal places. So you have to make sure that our product, the final answer is having three decimal places. And of course now, so the sum of the sum in two above gives the number of decimal places in the product. Of course, I've explained what that is all about. Now, sometimes you'll be having instances when the, the number of digits obtained, like we multiply to 24 by 2, you got 48. So the number of digits in 48 was 2. So sometimes you'll be having instances when the number of digits in the product is less than the required number of decimal places. Like, can you see this one? The number of decimal places are three, but the product is having two two digits. So when that is the case, what you'll be doing is to insert zeros in between the the decimal point and the digits to bring up the required number of decimal places. Like, I'll just add zero here and then decimal point, then zero. So zero point zero four eight. You see now zero here is being added so that we are able to obtain the required number of decimal places so that there are three, you see. So if you needed four decimal places, I would have added two zeros. And we're going to see how that is done as we continue with the concept. So that is what we mean when we talk about uh, rules, you know, rules that are used in multiplication. So take note, number one, we disregard the decimal point. Number two, we add the decimal places in each number that is multiplied. So if there are two, you add the two, the decimal places in the two numbers to give us the, the number of decimal places in the product. And then, of course, instances when the number of uh, digits obtained in the product is less than the required number of decimal places, you remember to, to, fill, to fill up the, the difference using zeros uh, that are inserted in between the decimal point and the digits obtained. We are going to see how that is done as we continue with the, the, the lesson. So let's see, we have a first example here. So what we're going to do here, so one, we we add the digits, you know, the, the decimal places. So we have how many decimal places here? Remember decimal places simply refers to the number of digits of the decimal point. So one, two. So two decimal places here, and we are adding one, two, three. So three decimal places to give us how many decimal places? Five five decimal places. So what I know is that the product is going to have five decimal places. So if that is not the case, then it means something has gone wrong somewhere. So I'll have to check where there is a problem and I correct. So 
that is already the number of decimal places in the product that you already know. Then the next thing is disregarding the, the decimal point. So if you, you disregard this decimal point, the number will be 415. So 415, and then disregarding this decimal point here, the number will be 0021, which is just 21. So you are multiplying the two numbers. So again, multiplication of natural numbers, if you, have, if you have trouble with that, you can check from our previous videos. We have done videos on that. We have lessons that you have done previously on that. You can simply check and see how multiplication of numbers is done. But ideally, what's supposed to be done is that each of the digits down here are multiplied by all the digits up there. So 1 will be multiplied by 415. 2 will also be multiplied by 415. But as you multiply by the digits down here, you must multiply by their total values. For example, the total value of digit 1 is just 1. So I'll just multiply by 1. Now the answers are written towards the left-hand side. So I'll start with 1 by 5 is 5, 1 by 1 is 1, and 1 by 4 is 4. Now when it comes to 2, 2 here, I'll, 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 I'll not just multiply by 2, but I'll multiply by the total value of 2, which is 2 by 10, which is 20. So normally as you multiply by 20, you just multiply by 2 and then you add the 0. So what I'll do, I'll add the 0 first. Let's see, I'll add that 0 first. Then 2 by 10 is, I mean 2 by 5 is 10. So we'll write 0, you carry 1. 2 by 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Remember the one that you had carried from here. And then of course 2 by 4 is 8. This is 8. And remember to fill up the spaces using zeros. Then you add the two products. So we have 5, we have 1, we have 7, and we have 8. That is 0 plus 8 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 5 plus 0 is 5. See. So we have a uh, number of required number of decimal places supposed to be 5. So the rule is insert 0 in between, 1, 0. No, they're supposed to be 5, but these digits are how many? 4. So it means 4.15 times 0 0.021 should be equal to 0 0.087815. So you see, I've inserted one zero here in between, you know, one zero in between the decimal point. And the number of digits, because the number of digits are four, but I need five. So I add one zero there so that there are five decimal places. Remember, decimal places simply refers to the number of digits of the decimal point. So there are four digits, but I need five. So I will add zero to, to fill up the space left. So again, we can do it here. So let me first of all get the number of decimal places in the product. So I have three decimal places here. I'm adding two decimal places here, and this is giving me again five decimal places. So with this regarding the decimal point will give me 12, 0, 37, and then you are multiplied by 12. So you do the same thing again. Two here will multiply all the numbers up there, and one, so I'll be using 10, not just one. I'm using the total value. So total value of this digit, two is two. So two by seven is 14, so four carry one. 2 by 6, 2 by 3 is 6, and plus 1 is 7. And then 2 by 0 is 0, 2 by 2 is 4, and 2 by 1 is 2. So this is 10. So multiplication by 10, I will multiply by, by 1, only then I'll add the 0 later. But now what I'll do when I'm doing this, I'll add the 0 first. Then 1 by 7 is now 7, 1 by 3 is 3, 1 by 0 is 0. 1 by 2 is 2, and 1 by 1 is 1. Then I fill up the space left using 0. Then now you add the two products. So we have 4, 4 again. 7 plus 7 is 14, 4 carry 1. 1 plus 3 plus 0, there is 4 again. Here I have 2, and here I have 4. Uh -huh. I think there's a problem somewhere there. Remember here, up here we multiplied 2 by 7 to give us 14, so 4 carry 1, 2 by uh, 3 here is 6 plus 1 is 7, 2 by 0 is 0, and 2 by 2 is 4. So this is supposed to be 4 here instead of 2. So that if you add, this will give you 4, this will give you 4, and this will give you 1. See, so that is what we have. 
So what you have is 12.037 multiplied by 0 0.12 should be equal to, you know now where the decimal point should be so that we have five decimal places, it should be between one and four. Now this is called by inspection. Where should the decimal point be so that we have, you know, five decimal places? So the decimal point will be between one and four. So you just count the number of decimal places required are five. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five. That's where the decimal point should be. So it's one point four, 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 four. How many fours are they? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that is how you go about it. Please take note of the required number of decimal places. Yes, how we get it. Again, we have the last one here. So again, we have two decimal places here. Now this one, the decimal point is here, but now we don't have anything after that decimal point. So we have zero decimal places. So totaling to two decimal places. So the product should have two decimal places. So next we disregard the decimal point. So we have 1207 and then we are multiplying by 12. So again, each digit is multiplied by the numbers up there. But as you multiply by the digit, remember to multiply by their total values. So total value of, of digit 2 here is, is, uh, is 2. So 2 by 7 is 14. So 4 carry 1. 2 by 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1, 2 by 2 is 4, and 2 by 1 is 2. So here I'll be multiplying by 10. The, the total value of this digit 1 here is 10. So multiplication by 10, I simply multiply by 1, and then I add that 0 last. So what I do, I'll start with that 0 here. Then now you multiply by 1. So 1 by 7 is 7, 1 by 0 is 0, 1 by 2 is 2, and 1 by 1 is 1. Fill up the spaces left, and then do the addition of the two products. So we have 4. 8, 4, 4, 1. So by inspection, where should the decimal point be so that I have two decimal places? You simply count 1, 2. The decimal point should be here. This is where the decimal point should be. So it means 12.07 times 12 should be equal to 144.84. By inspection, so that my product is having two decimal places, the decimal point must be in between this 4 here and this 8 here. So that is how you go about it. So we have a few questions that are there to help you practice. So we have 0 0.03 multiplied by 55.5 all the way. Number 5, 345 multiplied by 0 0.0092. So do attempt. You can be posting your responses on the comment section. We'll be looking at them and you'll be giving feedback uh, in the due course. Otherwise, that marks the end of our session. Goodbye.